If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 16 and kind of a Madden 17 video. Guys, today what we're talking about is the brand new sets that are in the game. Guys, we're talking about the NFL PA Rookie Premier sets. You guys can see here we've got new cards in the game as well. And the other thing, uh, or new packs, excuse me, in the game. But we're also going to be having new sets in the game. Now, what's kind of weird is that the EA actually pulled down these sets, it looks like, because apparently there was some sort of glitch. I don't know what was going on with that. So the only sets that are up there right now are the three sets that we've had before, where we've got the gold player, the rookie player, the elite rookie player, and then, of course, the elite draft sleeper player. So, you know, again, these are the ones that have been in there previously, but there are also actually going to be, and there have been already, I'm assuming that they'll be back very soon, uh, just not at the time of this video, Two new sets, and guys, what you can actually get here in the sets is some beastly, beastly rookie players. We're talking about, like, some real, real nice 95, 97 overall rookie players, like Jared Goff. We've also got Carson Wentz, uh, Ezekiel Elliott, Derrick Henry. Pretty much the guys who were drafted near the top of the draft or play positions that people would be excited about. A lot of those guys have pretty high overall cards um and then basically what you have to do to get those guys is that you have to go in and you actually have to collect these new collectibles that are in the game now the collectibles are actually not that difficult to get you can go in here and you can find these um so if you go into the auction house you just have to go over to let's see here to the uh collectibles and then we change this from nfl draft down to the the last thing that's on here just like usual um these are going to be called or no excuse me the rookie premiere that's what we want to find so basically you go on here and you need to find somewhere depending on the player themselves because some of the the higher overall players obviously require more uh basically what you're looking for is somewhere between 10 to about 17 of these uh, elite collectibles okay and you have to find the ones for the the player that you're actually looking at so, like, if you want to create a Laramie Tunzel, for example, you've got to get... I don't know exactly how many he's going to require. It might actually say on the back of this. Probably not. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it says. But uh, you have to get somewhere between 10 to 17 for each of these. And, and as you can see, some of these go for pretty cheap. The Laramie Tunzel, 2700 The highest that I've seen is Ezekiel Elliott. And those are going for like 15,000 or so. Uh, most of the other players, though, fall in somewhere between about 2,000 to 5,000 coins. So, again, it, it'll cost you somewhere between 50,000 to 100,000 coins, typically, for most of these players uh, to get just the collectibles. And then you also need to get any two elite rookie players. So, again, we go back here and we change this to just the standard uh, NFL draft. And uh, we'll go over here to... Uh, let's see here. No, excuse me. We'll change this to players. And I believe, yeah, I believe that we still have to keep it on the other thing. Excuse me. No, actually, nope. I believe that these are the players that you actually have to put in there. Um, so basically what you can do is you take these two players, any two of these guys, and you throw them into the set and you get your elite rookie player back. So you get your beastly rookie player. Now, again, these ones here are low 90s overall for the most part, and they're actually not too expensive either. So if you go in here and you take a look, you can get them for fairly, fairly cheap anyway. 47,000 for this one. I would say the most that I've seen them going for, like as far as like the lowest priced ones, is about 55,000. One tip that you can also do, guys, when you're going through and actually finding these players, like let's say that you want to find, uh, you want to find something for fairly cheap. Just type in a letter, pretty much any letter, because that's going to narrow down the total number of players that pop up, and then you're going to see that uh, that you're getting actually lower players or lower price players usually. So you can change this from C. You can put A. Um, a is obviously in a lot of players' names. I think I put a space on accident, but uh, point being though. Um, 
basically guys when you go in and do this you're gonna see that if, if you do something like that you're gonna lower the total number of players that pop up which is actually a good thing because then you can typically find the cheaper players so something to just consider anyway while you're trying to do these sets um, now again it's very very cheap to actually get these so that's that's not too bad I just want to show you guys as well some of these players um, that are coming out of this now because these things are actually pretty damn beastly dude like take a look at this one I'm just going to show you guys like the top price or the top uh, overall uh, value player here. We've got Joey Boza there up at the top. I think that might be the highest one that's up there right now. Oh, there's an Ezekiel Elliott as well. But look at these. These things are actually pretty damn beastly. They're not 99 overalls, but they're, I mean, they're definitely good players. Now, the other really cool thing about this that I haven't mentioned is that not only are you going to get when you finish the Joey Bosa set, for example, not only are you going to get Joey Bosa for this year in, in his 97 form, you're also going to get what's being referred to as a dynamic player for Madden 17. So basically what you're going to get here, guys, is a player just like what we've seen in NBA 2K, or I guess we don't know for sure if it's going to be exactly like that, but that's what the assumption is. And it's basically going to be a player who starts off as a low overall at the beginning of the season because he's a rookie. But throughout the season, his ratings are going to go up based on his performances. Now, how much the player goes up, we really don't know at this point. It's all a big guessing game. We really have no idea. But we do know that these players are going to see their ratings change throughout the season, which is kind of a cool thing. This is something that I actually suggested a couple of years back. Uh, when I was talking about doing this for fantasy cards, like you put out a, a series of fantasy players uh, and their ratings go up and down based upon how they're performing from week to week. And that would at least make it so that you can go in and, you know, if they're playing a particularly bad defense and you know that they're going to tear it up, you invest in them before that game. Their value goes up after the game, of course, because they're a better player now. And then their price will go up as well. So you make some coins, you know, different things like that. And, it, and of course, there would be a, a cost and risk benefit analysis that you'd have to do on each one. But the point is, the cool thing about this is that they are implementing some sort of system like this. Now, these are the first ones that we're going to see. Uh, obviously, we don't have the card art for those for those dynamic players quite yet. But we do know that it is going to be in the game. This was released by EA themselves. It's not a rumor. This is on the EASports.com website where they're talking about the dynamic players. So it's definitely something to look forward to, guys. And it's something that I think people are going to be pretty damn excited about. It's going to be a lot of fun to be able to cheer for an Ezekiel Elliott or a, a Jared Goff or a Joey Boza or, you know, whoever you've got and try and get their, their overall attributes to rise. So the other thing and the final thing that I want to show you guys today, guys, is the new packs that are in the game. So we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on these, but uh, rookie premier packs, okay? So these things are just like the other ones that we've had in, in the past couple of weeks and months, uh, pretty similar where you get two rookie premier collectibles. So two of the things that go for, you know, like two to 5,000 coins or so, six gold or better players, and then four other non-player items. So I would actually recommend if you guys are planning on opening up these, I would actually hold the packs if you can until tomorrow. Like if you're going to open up a bundle or something like that, hold them until tomorrow on Saturday. Saturday when we get the ultimate legends in the game so that you at least get an extra opportunity to pull one of those something to keep in mind as far as that goes but these are 70,000 coins to purchase or of course you can go in and do the bundles if that's something that you'd be interested as in as well um, last thing here guys is that I do actually also have two of these rookie premiere packs so we can see what they kind of look like um, I'm not too worried about opening them up right now I know I just said hold on to them until Saturday but you know what let's just see what they look like let's see what's in them um, oh, actually, I accidentally click on sets, of course, but, uh, if you click on, let's see here, what do we need to go to unopened packs? There we go. Um, I've got 35 unopened packs. Don't pay attention to these. They're not getting opened up anytime soon, but we have two Mutt Rewards rookie premiere packs. So guys, if you're in the legendary tier in Mutt Rewards, I put out a video yesterday recommending that everybody goes on and signs up for Mutt Rewards. You did get two free packs in today's game. So if you need to sign in and make sure that you get those today, uh, even if you've quit Mutt and you're not playing anymore, it's worth it to just go on and, and buy them. Why the hell not, man? Um, and, and then obviously, guys, you can open these up at any time. You don't have to open them up today, but we're just going to go ahead and do it. I don't know what the other tiers got, maybe one or maybe a pro pack or something like that. I, I really have no idea. But either way, we're going to open up the two that we get today for being in the legendary tier. 
and the very first thing we get is a Jared Goff collectible so that's that's good i think that those uh those might be some of the more expensive ones just because i know he's one of the higher overall players not getting anything as far as the cards go we do get a greg olson we get a second jared goff so we're even a little bit closer to getting that jared goff completed interesting uh but again you do see that you get two in each pack and we'll open up the next one what if we get two more jared goffs i might have to make the damn jared goff if that happened i don't know <laughs> <laughs> we get another Jared Goff, a third. Can we get a fourth, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, Shaq lost. <laughs> I thought it was going to happen. That would have been crazy. That would have been absolutely crazy. But we don't get anything else out of the packs, really. Uh, so that is going to do it for this video, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Hopefully, you learned something. Sorry that the sets weren't in the game, so we couldn't go more into a description about what is actually included in these. But I hope that this gave you a little bit of an explanation as far as what is going to be in the game next year. The big thing, guys, is those dynamic players. I think that people uh, definitely should make sure that you go in if you have coins still in the game and you invest in at least one player to pull over into Madden 17 because why the hell not? I mean, there's really no point at this point in, in uh, you know, just leaving your coins here on the game. So if you have anything else, go ahead and do your best. Invest in a player to potentially make them a dynamic player here in Madden 17. So thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.